Everyone it's Kanga here and today I've got a very quick video talking about the patch notes for update 16.1 or 16.10, you can see it on your screen there. Bear with me here, this got announced while I was asleep. I'll do my best to get through this as fast as possible while also getting across the important information, but that's why I might sound a little different. The update's at 4 a.m. EST. I don't know what time it's gonna be for you, but if you do wanna know, come into Google or your first search engine, type in 4 a.m. EST in my time, and then it's gonna convert it to you for your time. So for example, for me, that's gonna be at 7 p.m. And yeah, it's just a lot easier for you to figure it out for yourself in five seconds, rather than me trying to figure it out for 20 different people in 20 different time zones. Fortnite's given us the key points here. The first one is a picture of an egg, and then a new apex predator stalks the island. So obviously those eggs I made a video on yesterday, as well as I think five days ago, and then even two days into the season, those are 100% now hatching into dinosaurs, and I'm really, really excited to see this on the map tomorrow. It's gonna be really, really cool to see how that goes. We've also got crafting and loot adjustments. And if I just go down here just to see what those are, you can see here primal shotgun fire rate reduced in this one here. I honestly think they could have tweaked the damage rather than the fire rate, but I do trust that Epic's made the right decision here. And I think that this change is gonna make a lot of people very, very happy. Just looking at the rest of the balance changes, the makeshift shotgun is gonna be adjusted, quote unquote. So I think because they've said adjusted rather than like X thing nerfed or reduced like they said there with the primal shotgun right above it. I think what this means is they're going to be testing out a lot of different changes at once. They could be changing the magazine size so instead of two bullets it's three or four while also increasing the range while also decreasing the damage something like that. Crafting materials now scale with makeshift rarity. So what this is going to mean, I saw someone suggest this on reddit. And I also thought it myself, and obviously I can't prove that, but I just think it's a really cool idea, and a logical idea even, is that when you craft from a grey weapon to a green weapon, rather than that costing four material, it's only going to cost one. So it'll take, for example, it's going to take, for example, one animal bone to go from a grey revolver, a grey makeshift revolver, up to a green normal revolver. I don't even think there are purple makeshift weapons, so the most it's going to cost to craft now is going to be three of any sort of part, and that's going to be from blue to purple. So whether it be a blue makeshift shotgun or a blue makeshift assault rifle, whatever you craft that into is only going to cost three parts now rather than four. These two things here, I nearly forgot to mention because I sort of skipped past them, but they're about creative and save the world. Creative power-ups now support team, class, and all combinations. And then there's going to be a new venture season coming to save the world. I saw playing save the world a while ago, so I'm not too sure what that means. But if you do play Save of the Worlds, I'm sure you know what that means. As a reminder, the Zero Crisis finale will remain available as a playlist until the downtime for 16.10. And if you're playing on PC, this patch size will be larger than normal. And then a bonus suite, this week we're experimenting with bringing back and moving Storm Circle to non-competitive modes for the last two zones. Let us know what you think. So this is going to be when you might remember back in Season 5, and if you play Arena or competitive at all, at the end of the game, one storm circle will end up right in the storm and then it'll move from there so it's a lot harder to get from place A to B and you can't just get into a spot and then sit as the circle shrinks around you. You're going to have to actually move consistently throughout that time. But yeah, that's everything that is coming in patch 16.10. If you have any more questions about this update or anything else, feel free to comment that down below. If you found this video useful at all, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, all of those things help me out massively. And if you want to support me as a creator, that's when I could can get for our Adam shop. Otherwise though, that's it for me for now, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.